Hello everybody, welcome to my playthrough of Mario Party 3. We are getting started in Creepy Cavern as Waluigi, Princess Peach, Mario, and Deke. Donkey Kong plays a round of Mario Party and we are all here. Welcome to the legendary Creepy Cavern, highlighted in green. In this fantastic Rocky Cavern, your battle to become the superstar. Now, before we begin, we need to determine this turn order. What? I don't wanna go last. Why? No, not Yahoo. No, not ya. No. Why do we have to go last? Good luck and try to become the superstar. Start the game! Okay, it started. Okay, now let me show you where to find the first star, which is right up there. Of course, here it is. Trade it in. What? Trade the star in for what? <laughs> Trade in 20 coins to get the star. Don't let anyone swipe it. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no. No, not, that doesn't that work in this game. Alright, here we go, Creepy Cavern. I, I did do a playthrough of this game a couple years ago, but I figured maybe, why not, let's start a new one, do a replay, because Mario Party 3 is one of my favorite Mario Parties, and I want to play through it again, like, why not? I'm playing through Mario Party 1 right now as well, doing a replay of that because I, my last Mario Party 1 Let's Play was back in 2014, believe it or not, so I'm doing a replay of that. I didn't even mention that in my first Mario Party video, but yeah, alright, you know now. I will, I will, when I record the second Mario Party 1 video, I will, are you gonna, wow, you are waiting a long time to shoot that. Alright, you gotta bow your bone, my god, woman. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, in my next uh, Mario Party 1 board playthrough video, I will talk about how this, how that playthrough is a replay because of the old project from years ago. But yeah, here we go, Mario Party 3. I decided to do this one again because, well, one, I love this game, and two, you never know what could happen, and three, there are a few things that are exclusive to Mario Party 3 and they've never came back. One of them is an item, which is a great item to have in this game. So, let's see. Uh, normal walking speed, normal messaging. We also have so minigame explanations and so computer minigames. We will leave that open because we want to see what the hell goes on in the computer only minigame. So, yeah. Now we're gonna land on a bank and take 10 coins, which is awesome. 20 coins to start the game, yes. That's the Cooper Bank as well. If you pass it, you have to pay 5 coins, or if you have less than 5 coins, you pay what you have. And if you land on the bank, you get everything in the game. I mean, what? <laughs> everything in the bank. There's also rare items to get in this game, believe it or not. There's four rare items, and one of them is related to the bank, so we'll take a look out for that. But our, our first minigame is a four player, when the colors are all the same on all characters, it's a four player, whether it's blue or red. If, uh, if three of the characters highlight blue and one is red, then that means it's a one versus three minigame. If it's two red, two blues, two versus two minigame, and there we go. Messy memory. Toads knock the items on the shelves to the floor. Try to return all the items to the proper spots. Yep, one of my... Well, I, I'm not sure about favorite minigames, but I do like this one. It's also a memory, memorization type of thing where you have to memorize where the items go, but it's easy. Move the cursor, grab an item, and place the item with A. Open curtain and close curtain with V. 
So if when you're done, you can close the curtain and that way people won't be able to see what you've got. So they can't copy you. Remember where the items were originally placed on the shelves. If you get less than three points, you automatically lose. You have to be stupid to get that low points. Luigi, Geek, Sagai, Egg, Bananas, Mushroom, Hammer, Crown, Badass, Mario. Okay. Yeah. okay. 10 of 10 for me. I know where everything goes. Alright, I am playing as well Luigi on this board, if you didn't know. So yeah, Luigi goes up here. Deke goes here. Egg goes there. Mushroom in the middle. That guy goes there. That girl goes over there. And that goes here. So, there we go. And they didn't even do it right. Why did you take the shy guy off? You had them right the first time. Oh my god, you stupid. Finish. Nobody has perfect but me. Oh my god. I'm the best. Peach got a two. Oh, good lord, woman. Guess what difficulty they're on? Can you guess what difficulty they're on? No, they're not on easy. They're not on normal either. They are on super hard. And Peach failed with a two. My god. Even on the hardest difficulties, they're really that stupid in that minigame. <laughs> oh, wow. I can't believe it. That's the first time I've seen Peach get a 2 as well. Don't you dare send Bowser to me. I hate you. You know that? I hate you with a banana passion. <laughs> I was hoping to see you, Aloigi. So, what frighteningly fun event will we have this time? <laughs> Step right up and let the roulette decide your fate. Oh, right, what do we got? Not potluck, you stupid. In this event, you each give me 10 coins, okay. DK is the only one that couldn't afford 10 coins, but I'll take it. If I have to lose coins, everyone else has to as well. I was hoping to get either a Bowser's Curse or um, the Star Present or whatever that was down at the bottom. That nothing really happens if you get the yellow text in that roulette, but it's better than losing anything, so. Yeah. Also, when DK passed by that big womp up there, if you want to get past him, you have to give him a certain item that he wants. So he wants a skeleton key. So if you have a skeleton key, you can give it to him and make him go away and go to the other side. So there you go. Alright, so what do I want to do here? Not item, view the map. So I have four spaces remaining. So I could hit this happening space and make this guy move automatically. And in that case, I'll be one space ahead to get the happening star. Or if I want to, I could get an item by going three by hitting that space, hitting the door, but since I don't have a key, I don't enter the door, I go back. So th three, two, so that space counts as two spaces. And then I land on this item space here. So I could land on the item space, get a skeleton key. That way, even if I land on a happening space, Peach doesn't go that way as well. I just let her pass. So, if I get the happening space, she could go right through, like me, but if I go to the enemy space, she can't go that way unless she hits the happening space herself. So, I think I'm gonna get an item space, you know? You don't have a skeleton key, so you can't open the gate. 
go back the other way. And we have an item mini game featuring Dory Dip. We're gonna dip ourselves in Do- what? I didn't say anything. If you ground pound on Dory's back, she'll grab an item for you. AZ ground pound? It takes a little time for Dory to grab an item after you do a ground pound. It's just timing based. But yeah, it's easy to get an item that you want. We have a poison mushroom, a reverse mushroom, which that is the item that's exclusive. Well, actually, wait, do we have Bowser phones in Mario Party 4? I can't remember if we do, but I think the Bowser phone is exclusive to this game as well. But reverse mushrooms, they've never been back in any Mario Party, so it's really overpowered and useful and nice to have in this game. But we also have a skeleton key which we kind of need to get past the you know who. So yeah, let's get that. I'm kind of wanting to get the reverse mushroom, but there's also the Bowser suit. But I'm gonna get the key. There we go. I like that sound effect there, the echo in the cave, very nice. But the timing for that to get the item you want is when you ground pound on the back of Dory when and when a raft with the item that you want is around 2 o'clock. Basically around the upper right of the screen, that's when you want to do the ground pound at that point hit the ground pound at that point, not start the ground pound at that point. Already do the ground pound at that point when the item is around the top right of the screen, then you'll get the item that you want. Okay, next one up we have MP IQ, Mario Party IQ. Hit the block quickly for your chance to answer the question. The first player to reach three points wins, wow. Hit the block, select answer for ABG. If you hit the block in the middle of the question, you won't see the entire question. So you'll have to guess. But these are usually pretty easy. Alright. On Deep Blue Sea, how many switches are there? Four. Yeah. It's the circ with the torpedo switches. There's four of them. Red, white, blue, and green. On the following Battle Royale maps, which one has been played the most? I was about to hit that, you idiot. How dare you get that one right? How many dice blocks appear when you use a golden mushroom? Three. Yeah. Yeah. If you add up the coins, everyone is carrying... How many? Okay, I have 20. Peach has... Well, one? DK has nothing. And Mario has five? So 26? Oh, 27. 27! Wow! Okay! So Mario had 6, Peach had 1. And I had 20, DK didn't have anything. Go figure. No, okay. So DK and Mario had 3. Okay, so I was lucky on my guess then. Wow. Okay. I'm back up to 30 coins. Thanks a lot, DK. I could have been at 40 points. I could have been at 40 coins, but no, you just had to ruin me by making me lose 10 coins to Bowser of all people. Good lord, man. Baby Bowser's shop open, but Peach didn't have enough coins. You need 5 coins minimum in order to gain access to the shop, so there you go. If you don't have 5 coins, you don't get to ride the cart. How dare you? People are coming close to the womp, but only I 
have the skeleton key. Only I would be able to move the womp. But moving the womp... Excuse me for not getting up. I'm the womp king. Bow down to the block. If you give me a skeleton key, I promise to move out of your way. Okay. The star, the star is up there, so I need to go this way. As I promised, it's my duty as king after all. Damn. He goes over on that track. We can go this way? You better be careful, because that defaults to going right. So if you just hit A immediately, you're going to go right. You don't want that. You want to go up. Oh, I don't want that. I wanted either the item space or that space right there. Those creepy eyeballs that don't look like they're there. Yeah, that's game guy space. That's a lucky minigame type space. And, and I'll explain it when someone lands on it or me. And But in the meantime, we have a 1 vs 3 in Thwomp Hole. Press the buttons the Thwomps tell you to with good timing to move your sled forward. A, B, Z, move sled. Z, B, and A for them to move. They got. They have one button, I have three. If you press the wrong button, the swamp will get confused and pause. Be careful not to make mistakes. Alright, with them being on a super hard, it's probably not going to be easy for me to get the, get the victory. Okay. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Dang it, I already messed up. I'm not going to win. I messed up, oh my god. You can even mess them up mid-jump too. Yeah, they're gonna win. Dang it. I think if I didn't mess up once, I probably could have won that because they got hit by the snowballs twice. So, but even even messing up once, they win. So, yeah. Oh, right. Peach gets a pen. Why? What did I do to deserve this? She wants to go to the other side? Really? And she gets DK to go to the other side as well. Because he was in the way. Huh. Oh, blue space. And DK gets to go up there. Ahead of Peach. But the star is over where I am, guys. Why are you way over there? Like, seriously, man. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Mario goes that way as well. But I am going to get an 8. Apparently half 8, but alright. Oh, if I did get an 8, that would be a thousand space right there. Ew. I don't want that. Ooh. Oh. I was looking forward to to the chip shot challenge, but nope, we gotta do the beat goes on. Apparently it goes on and on and on. <sighs> Remember the order in which the drums are played, then add the drum of your choice at the end. Play drum with E A B Z. If you drum if your drum timing is off, you'll lose, so keep the beat. Yep. And if I will link a video in the description if you wanna see it, but I did show what happens when two players tie at the end of the game. What's the pattern? A, Z, B. You suck! You're on super hard and you suck! A wow! Are you gonna fail, too? Come on, please. Dang it. 
Ah, I was hoping he would do it too. <laughs> A V B V B B. A V B B B B. Fail, fail, fail. Please. Dang it. I big big da. There you go. That was really something, seeing two of the players lose immediately. <laughs> that never happened before. And it happened on super hard difficulty of all things. <laughs> There you go. Finish! I'm the best. Wow. <laughs> Super hard difficulty must be, at least in this board playthrough, super stupid. Cause that's what Peach is. <laughs> she got a 2 out of 10 in messy memory and she just lost immediately. In Wow. And we have our first battle game of the playthrough. Oh wow, what we got? 20. Good lord, my, I'm the only one that can afford it. But we still end up at 70 quart, wow. Well, that's not enough. Well, it'll have to do, it works. Yep, 10 coins are off apparently. Locked out. It's apparently what we're doing, okay. I'll take that over the others. Grab a key, then open the door. The mark on the key must match the door, or it won't open. Move, get the key, drop the key with A, or attack with B. If you steal a character, he or C will drop the key. Steal a key when you get the chance. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna grab this. I said grab that. Ow! Oh! Ow! No! <laughs> Come on! DK, you piece of monkey crap! Finish! I'm not God damn it, Deek! Why you gotta be a stupid no. Deek? All those coins gone because DK had to be stupid and come after me instead of them. Asshole. That's right. That's what he is. And because of his, you know what, idness, he has no coins or stars. So, yeah, suck to be you. All right, give me a big number. Oh, quite a loud. I don't want to land on Bowser. If I do, I'm gonna. I don't. I don't want to give Mario the star. So, if I have to get coin pot luck, I will. No, not ten coin. Come on! I wanted Bowser's curse or the phone giveaway. What are you doing to me? Why? I don't want to be on a team with the stupid idiot who cost me the battle. Why? My god. Grab the cherries from Woody, then pass them to your partner to put them in the basket. A is A, A to grab and release cherries. They, the distance the cherries fly depends on their size. Try to match your time into their size. Why? Why would I do such a thing? Why would I scoop down to their level? Stop. 
getting into a good rhythm here. Putting in everything that we've got so far. Why are you giving us one? Give us three. All right, there we go. Well, at least now I can get the star, but... Good lord, man. I still don't like you, DK, for what you did to me in that minigame. Don't you ever pull it. Did you see what this stupid monkey just did? Do you see? What the monkey just did to me again. Get some help. You're giving Mario a star because you can't leave me the hell alone. Thankfully he doesn't get the star but still. Also now DK and Mario are tied for the happening star. With one each. I probably could have just got a one, why not? I don't want to be on a team with him. Stop putting me on a team. I don't want to do this one. This game sucks. This game sucks, really. Aim your cannon at Baby Bowser target, then fire away. Aim the cannon and fire the Baby Bowser target moves around, moves about randomly. Aim your ca cannon carefully and shoot to win. This game sucks because we can't hit the damn target because of the stupid walls that are blocking the target. Oh, come on. This isn't fair. We were in the lead and then we just had to lose because the stupid walls keep blocking the... I hate this minigame. I really hate it. The walls shouldn't be there in the first place. Also, Peach has a coin star lead right now with 62, which she shouldn't have because you're dick. Maybe having DK on super hard is not a good thing. Maybe I should put him on easy. Man, this guy. Or maybe I should have just put them on regular hard difficulty, but still, I wanted to give myself a bit more of a challenge, but I didn't ask for DK to fucking screw me over twice. First, he took me out of the battle game, and then he just took me away from the star. So... Will you stop giving me a stupid one? God damn it, game! I was saying to the viewers how you're one of my favorite games and you're quickly making me turn on my decision. Spotlight Swim. Catch the swimmer by shining all the searchlights on him or her at the same time. Peach move and dive. Move the, move the searchlight with the rest of them. The swimmer temporarily stops after he or she dives. Try to sign your searchlight on the swimmer at that point. Stop. 
Hallo, Gigi. DK shouldn't be getting any coins right now. But he is because the game keeps putting him on the same team as me, so... Yeah, this game can suck it. Yeah. What are you gonna get, a magic lamp? Nope, you're gonna get a... Cellular Sopper. Really? Well, with that item, you can call either of the item shops, Toads or Baby Bowser. So, there you go. You do not... Oh, that... Beach is gonna get the star. But not without playing a battle minigame first. How about 50? How about 50? Let's do 50. Alright, 30, why not? DK, you're the only one that doesn't have any coins again, oh my god. Okay. A game that I can win. How about... I saw. Thank you very much, have a good day. Run circles around Big Mr. I, an enemy from Mario 64, to swing him down the sides. Complete Mr. I might what? <laughs> Complete Mr. <laughs> Complete 15 laps to make Mr. Big I <laughs> vanish, vanish completely. <laughs> if you bump into Mr. If you bump into Mr. <laughs> if you bump into Big Mr. I or a Potaboo, you will fall down and lose time. So watch it! <laughs> okay, focus. One. Two. Three. Stop copying me, Mario. I see what you're doing over there. Whoa! -ho. Whoa! -ho -ho. Ow! Ow! Oh, come on! Come on! Peach, go the hell! Why did you give a coin to him, of all people? How many coins did I have? Forty something? I hate this game now. <laughs> that was ridiculous. I should have won that minigame, but no, the princess had to fucking uncork, uncork something from her ass and get a speed boost and go around quicker than me. <coughs> wow. What block? Boo. You better not trade places with me, otherwise I'm gonna kill you. I... I need to save up the coins so I can get the coin star. So... I might just let them get the stars for now, but I'm gonna focus on the bonus stars. Although the happening star I don't have right now, but I can try and get the coin star. 10,000 coin poison! See you! Bowser ran away. What a what a coward that guy is. Alright, can I get something other than a one? Well, a one wouldn't be too bad right here. Four. Why? Also, what can I get? Reverse, plunder, 
Hmm. Blue Bell would be good, but. Uh. You know. Hmm. I'll get a wibbles. I like to have that item in my back pocket. My back pocket. Why? Well, will you stop putting me on a team with the. Wow. This game hates me now. Douse the flames from the potable. The team that puts out the f most flames wins. In the hyper hydrants. Aim the water and spray with A. Push down and pull up the pump with them. The hose will spray when you press A, but the distance you can reach will become shorter. Oh, I don't care. Okay. Stop getting more of the fucking... Come on! No! This is not happening! No! Not fair! The flames were basically far away and I couldn't reach multiple of them at once. That's not fair at all. You know what? This game can suck it!